Hello everyone, welcome again. So far we have seen that with the help of XPath we can locate an element inside the web page. But there is one more way by which we can locate the element inside the web page that is with the help of CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. So I will open my Chrome and I will open my Bugzilla site. After that if I press the F12 it is going to launch a window which is similar to that of Firebug window. And after that you press escape. So as soon as you press the escape it is going to launch the console which is provided by the Chrome. So now we are going to use this console for finding or validating whether our XPath and CSS are proper or not. So moving on there are certain syntax which we need to keep in mind for using CSS. So the first syntax is for the direct child. So for example, let me let me inspect this element. So just right click on this text box and click on inspect element. So it is going to highlight the tag which has been used for creating of this particular element. So as you can see that it is inside the form. So in the console, if you want to validate the x path, you need to type dollar followed by x and open close braces and inverted comma. Inside this you need to supply the x path of the element. So for example the x path of this uh, this particular uh, text box will be slash slash input at the rate id equal to and if you press enter so if, you have, if your XPath is valid, we will get one entry and if you put your mouse pointer over it, it is going to highlight the corresponding component inside the web page. So the first syntax is for the direct child and in the XPath, if you, check for, if you want to check for the direct child, so again $x inverted comma slash slash form slash input. So it is going to select all the immediate child or direct child uh, of type input under the form anywhere in the page. So if I press enter, as you can see that this number, this sorry, these are the direct or immediate child of form tag uh, with the name input tag. So the corresponding CSS will be. So for CSS, instead of dollar x, we need to use dollar dollar, same open and close bracket and inverted comma. So the syntax will be the parent tag greater than sign and the direct child tag so for us it will be form greater than sign and the direct child tag was input so as you can see that it has listed down the same input tag which we got with the this x path so so if it is a direct child the single slash will be converted into the greater sign and there is no use of double backslash so moving on the second syntax will be for subchild. So this XPath represents that select all the input which is under form doesn't matter it's a direct child or it's a subchild anywhere in the page where form tag is anywhere in the page. So here similarly if I type so for the XPath $x and this function is provided by your Chrome actually. So this will be form slash slash input. So again it is going to select all the input tag which is under form tag and it doesn't matter that the input tag is a direct child or sub child anywhere in the uh, under the input and anywhere in the page under the form tag. So as you can see that it has given the list of all the input tag which is under the form tag and the corresponding CSS will be again for CSS dollar dollar open close braces and form slash input so again it is going to list down the same input tag which we got it with the help of this X path so the double slash will change into the space so moving on uh, let us talk about the attribute so while dealing with that attribute, we need to use the at the rate sign with that attribute. So same if I do inspect for this particular button, 
so this is the tag so the xpath will be dollar x slash slash input at the rate id equal to find top so as you can see that it has selected that particular oh sorry it has list down that particular tag which has been used for search button so corresponding css will be dollar dollar and again input we don't we don't use double backslash in css same square bracket and in css you don't need to use at the rate symbol with the attribute so again id equal to find underscore top and if i press enter as you can see that it has listed the same search button tag so with the css you don't need to use that the rate symbol with the attribute so moving on there are some shorthand notation provided by css for id and class so for example uh, the x path of uh, this particular search button will be this and the css you can write it with the help of shorthand notation like this so input and hash hash represent for the id and find underscore top so as you can see that it has listed down the tag and if i put a my my mouse pointer over it it is going to highlight the search button so this means that uh, select all the input tag for which id has a value find top and this hash will be applicable only for id uh, it it will not be applicable for the other attribute so whenever i am specifying the hash in css that represent i am specifying the value for the id so similarly for the class if the syntax is like this it will be converted into the dot so similarly if you inspect the this same element so the x path will be dollar x slash slash input at the rate class equal to btn okay there are two input tag with the class value as btn so this will be a x path for this and css one way is this input class equal to btn and using the shorthand notation so if you look at the syntax in shorthand notation you can use directly dot the value of at the at the rate class attribute so here again dollar dollar input dot btn and you don't need to use the single quote over here so as you can see that again it has uh, it has list down both the input tag the other way will be hash find underscore top sorry i forgot the inverted comma and it will be dollar so this means that so, uh, search for all the tag for which id has a value find underscore top doesn't matter whether they are parent child or child sorry sub child similarly if i do this for class attribute so this will be dot btn so this represent select all the tag for which the class attribute has a value btn so as you can see that there are only two input uh, tag for which the class has value btn so these are the short shorthand notation provided by css only for the it attribute and class attribute and if you want to use other attribute you need to take the you need to use this syntax so moving on the and condition so in the x path you can use and and operator to make an and condition for two attribute so let us suppose for this particular link i do inspect element okay i don't have multiple attribute over here so let's see for the search one again okay quick okay, search button okay i have multiple attribute over here so the x path will be dollar x slash slash input at the rate id equal to 
find and at the rate type equal to submit. So as you can see that this is the end condition we have formed inside the uh, inside the XPath and it has highlighted the quick search button. Similarly, if you want to write the corresponding CSS, so again input ID equal to find and here we we cannot use the AND operator we need to add one more square bracket for the next attribute so this will be type equal to submit and this will act as a AND condition so select all the input tag for which ID has a value find and type attribute has a value submit so if I press enter as you can see that it has listed down the input tag which will if I put a mouse pointer on input tag it is going to highlight the corresponding quick search button for example let's say I remove this one and I'll give some random ID so as you can see that there is no entry with this ID so moving on just like uh, we have function inside uh, xpath CSS also has a certain function with it. So first function which we are going to discuss is nth of type. So again, I'm going to type an xpath slash slash form slash slash input. So as you can see that it has list down all the input tag which is present inside under the form tag. And if I want to select any one of them, that can be done with the help of index value. Now we are getting multiple because there are multiple form tag in the web page which has which has input tag in, uh, anywhere inside it. If I want to select the second input tag, so I will type the second index value. Now similar thing can be done in the CSS with the help of nth of type function. So again, dollar dollar for CSS, inverted code, form, space, input because there is a double black slash that's why I have used the space colon nth of type and specify the index value so as you can see that it has list down the same tags which we got it using the this particular xpath so if I want to find the second one so I will type the two and press enter let's say I type one more xpath form slash input and the corresponding CSS will be dollar dollar form greater than input and if I want to select any one of them then colon nth of type and the index value 3 so you can see that so the function uh, the, the functionality which we were achieving in the xpath using the index value you can achieve the same functionality over here with the help of nth of type function so moving on the next function is the prefix match matching its syntax will be caret sign equal to and this is the way you have to write it so for example let's say I do inspect of this element so text path for this one will be or I will direct I will write directly the CSS so input ID which start with let's say quick so as you can see that it has list down all the input tag where ID is starting with the QUI. So here also, here also, and here also. And so this caret equal represent the prefix or starting with. The second will be the suffix match that is ends with you can say that. So prefix will be start, start with suffix means ends with. So for that I need to use equal to dollar. So this will be become your dollar equal to 
let's say the end will be main. Oh, let's say top so I have uh, this number of this number of input tag where ID ends with top so you can see that ID quick search underscore top bugzilla top and yeah forgot button underscore top so this dollar equal to represent that uh, the ID value should ends with top so here we can read it like this select all the input tag where ID value ends with top so it's not dollar equal to it's it's this and the last one will be the substring that is the representation will be asterisk equal to and the notation will be like this so substring is just like uh, the string can be present anywhere in that particular attribute so let's say css will be dollar input and id string equal to let's say villa so as you can see that it has list down all the input node for which id has a substring zilla so here also bugzilla for this one bugzilla for this one again bugzilla similarly and this one. so again a recap of this the prefix match is kind of a start with function it will check that particular attribute should start with the given string suffix stand for ends with and it will check that particular attribute value should ends with the value and substring is that this uh, this will be asterisk equal to this rep this will check that that whether particular that value sorry that uh, attribute contain the value as a substring or not so in this manner you can take the help of css also to locate any element inside the web page so that's all for this video and thanks for watching.